Alrighty, it's Saturday, February 16th, uh, 2013. This is the date identifier to let me know exactly when I did this video. <laughs> Otherwise, I get lost and... <laughs> Can't remember what day it is. So I need this. Uh, yeah, uh, this, is the this is the beginning of a Saturday-Sunday vlog, a fall, another Follow Me vlog. There'll be two Follow Me vlogs in a row. That's because uh, uh, I'm going to be going out again. I just was out, uh, brought a, uh, a new old TV in. That's why I do a lot of refurbishing, and I get a lot of used stuff in here. I don't, nothing here is really new, so I spend a lot of my time finding new and old stuff. So I've got an old TV that someone was getting rid of and uh, gave it a new home. So I just moved that in and uh, started doing my uh, YouTube stroll. So I've started the YouTube stroll for today. And in a couple hours, well, not a couple hours, basically for by 5 o'clock, I'm going to be leaving again uh, to go to my parents' house so I can go to church tonight and tomorrow morning. So I can do the Greek again. <laughs> so um, that's why there's going to be another Follow Me vlog for Saturday and Sunday. So that's the way things go. That's the way things are. And uh, I was talking to my niece today, uh, I have a young niece named Claire, and uh, she has a friend uh, named Sarah, and they end up in a situation where they're still being bullied in school, there's a lot of bullying still going on, and there's, it's the same old story that I, I had when I was a kid, uh, you tell a teacher, you tell them, there'd be a bit of a problem for the kid, uh, uh, you know, for the kid who was doing the bullying. And it's usually a popular kid. It's a kid who's, whose parents have some degree of control in the school, or you know they're known to the teachers in terms of they're not they're not bad you known, but good known in terms of they've involved with the PTA. they you know they have the sort of uh, a, a, a presence of power in the school. In other words, uh, a lot of the bullies are parents of kids, uh, and these are the, the bullies who are invisible, who are never who never get in trouble by anyone in the school because their parents uh, have su some degree of power in the school and the administration, the teachers, are afraid to confront the parents uh, about the behavior of the child, so more often than not they simply ignore it and walk away from it. But that leaves a whole, uh, uh, the whole underlying issue of bullying completely untied because you're only looking at uh, the, sort of the, the typical view of bullies the, you know, that big bruiser guy, uh, and not looking at the popular kids as being equal to the big bruiser who's beating up everybody and taking their lunch money. So, uh, it's the same thing uh, now. It's, 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 this is 2013. Uh, I was in school, at elementary school, in 1975. Okay. Let's say 1973. Let's give us some round numbers here. 1975. So 1970s. So 30 years to 2000, and another 10 years to 2010. That's eight. Uh, that's uh, 40 years. And another three years. That's 43 years. So in 43 years, the teachers, with all the singing and dancing, have been able to, able to accomplish nothing with bullying. But as a good, that if, if you're not going to pay attention to the real cause, get at the root cause of bullying, then you're not going to solve it no matter how much singing and dancing you're going to do. And part of the problem, part of the change that has to go on with bullying is the adults themselves have to, have to stop this aggressive behavior. Most of the aggressive behavior that are seen in kids come from the parents. So you want to stop bullying, you've got to look at the teachers, you've got to look at the administration, you've got to look at the politicians, and stop the aggressiveness. And this is from, from both sides, from the left and right. And once that's aggressive, the aggressive and violent nature in society is addressed, is addressed, then you'll be able to address bullying. If you don't address these issues, then you're not going to address bullying. No matter how much you sing and dance, no matter how many rallies you have, it's not going to work. It's that simple. Anyways, uh, we're going to go on today. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to also introduce a new segment that's coming up called Blue Beauty and the Geek. I'm adding a new sec section to Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, a couple, uh, about a year ago, as I was just starting out, uh, one of the things I found, it was just, I did it for a joke, because I'm not a beauty person, I'm a geek. Uh, but I have no particular grouping that I belong with, not even the geeks themselves, like, do, do I properly fit in there? So I wander and go from group to group to group to group. And one of the groups I ended up as I was wandering around YouTube doing my 
YouTube stroll. This is the beginning of the YouTube stroll. Uh, I stumbled on the beauty community and just started clicking around and found this contest called uh, from L'Oreal uh, on how to uh, how to become a beauty guru. Right? There was a contest by L'Oreal to become the next YouTube beauty beauty guru. Uh, I didn't expect anything out of it, and I didn't get anything out of it, so I created a video called Beauty and the Geek. And I kept following around uh, the different people on, on the beauty on the beauty uh, the beauty tube, that's the beauty gurus, and so uh, I've decided to make a little uh, thing out of it called Beauty and the Geek, turn, turn that one video into a whole segment, and it's basically me just sort of fumbling around the beauty community, uh, sort of seeing what's what, and, you know, my general reaction to different things. And so uh, I was uh, sort of contacted uh, by, uh, I guess, uh, because I uh, comment and, and uh, like a lot on all the videos. I never do thumbs down. I always do a thumbs up for any video I go on, just even if, even if I don't really like the video. Uh, because the person worked on it and put some effort into it, I'll give it a thumbs up anyways, just for the, you know, because of the effort they put into it. Um, and uh, two girls uh, sent me a message on, face, uh, on, e on YouTube. Asking me to go check out the account, their, their channel. Called, they're called the Fine Girls, and uh, I'm sure they're the Fine Gals. And um, I went by their channel. Uh, sub, sub, I like you'll see it in, in the in my feed on both uh, uh, YouTube and on uh, my Facebook and my Twitter feed. Will all pop up. They all they all are in sync together. Uh, so if you look at see that that's there. And I went by the channel. They did a good job. Of, they're doing a good job with their channel. Uh, they're having fun at it. That's the main thing. If, if you have a YouTube channel, the first part is having fun. Then everything else will kind of sort of fall in line. And, yeah, so they've done a good job. I'm, you know, they're a lot more popular than I am. They're almost at 500. I'm still uh, knocking on the door at 70. I got past the 60 mark. I got past the 60 mark. In one year, I've got past the 60 mark. But now I'm knocking on the door at 70. And let's see if I get over that 70 hump there. I stopped doing uh, honored subs and stuff like that because... Uh, I uh, get up people s signing up, then they disappear. Sign up, disappear. Uh, and I, I spent, I spent, I think uh, three or four months at 60. It will probably take me a couple months to get past 70. <laughs> That's kind of the way things go, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah. So I will see you in the next segment, and um, I'll let you know in the next segment. It will probably be sometime this week. Uh, that I will be starting up and getting the first videos out for Beauty and the Geek, that whole new segment there. All right, take it easy.